Meet John. He's visiting Rome for the first time. Within the next couple of hours, he would like to find a local restaurant where he can get a good risotto and a glass of wine. John consults his phone, which recommends a place about one hour walk from where he is. An arrow on the map points out the direction, and John starts walking. On the way, John is enjoying the city, and he stops to visit some stores and have an espresso. When reaching a junction, he feels uncertain whether to go right or left. Some suspicious-looking people are hanging out down the street, and John feels uncomfortable showing his expensive phone. He sticks the phone in his pocket and starts an in-pocket probe of the surroundings. When the phone is pointing the right way, he gets an affirmative buzz and continues to walk in that direction. When he reaches the restaurant, he feels good about having found his own way. Pedestrian navigation differs from car navigation, mainly in the sense that movement is more flexible. This increases the likelihood of detours from the planned route. Audio feedback is often not wanted as it can lead to uncomfortable situations in public and turn-by-turn -turn commands can be perceived as controlling and non-spontaneous. For a pedestrian, the best would be to avoid having the phone pushing intrusive commands and instead allow the user to be in control by only asking for directions when needed.